guys, it's Big Lad Biking. Welcome to the channel, if you haven't been here before. All about living life large on two wheels, because... Oh, what lovely hair. I'm not a small lad. So, finally, I'm gonna do a quick walk round of Tato. There's Alan with the R6 in the background. We've just been for breakfast. Hello, Hopefully get to watch that channel. Watch that uh, clip soon. So this is Tay Tay. This is 2013 Yamaha Super Tenere XT 1200Z or Z to our American cousins. <coughs> uh, I've had a nearly a month now and done just over a thousand miles. Uh, I think the previous owner crashed her into a parts bin because there's almost every conceivable extra that you could have on it so starting at the top we've got the power bronze aftermarket screen Turotech light guard and we've got crash bars with extra lights on. I think the fender extender is an aftermarket thing. Sump guard with, um, I think it's SM Moto. Yeah, SM Moto crash pans and guards on all the way round. It's a moto brake linkage guard. The only thing I've actually done is refit the rubber inserts because they were off. Really comfortable pegs. We've got braided hoses all the way round. Got all the panniers and everything at home. Got a Max Torque uh, aftermarket end can with the um, decibel killer. Doesn't really kill the decibels, but it makes it slightly less harsh and abrasive, which I like. Done the flat seat modification to it, which is quite comfortable. Did that yesterday. I'll do a little video clip on that. I fitted the quad lock for the phone for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It's getting buzzed by Alan with the R6 and his little drone there. Bugger. Uh, aftermarket adjustable brake levers. Down under there, we've got a um, twin port USB charging socket with voltage reader and then you've got the standard power out there over there and down there just see the blue lights we've got the um, gear position indicator so thoughts on it after a month very comfortable I did a 180 mile journey uh, last week down to Minehead and then 180 miles back, strangely enough. Um, comfortable, getting about 45 miles to the gallon out of it, which carrying my trunk around with it is pretty good, I think. I don't drive very economically. Uh, it's more about smiles per gallon than miles per gallon. Um, and yeah, really happy with the choice I made. Getting buzzed again. Bloody hooligans. Oh, there we go, we've got bar risers as well. I lift them up a couple of inches, which is really nice. Puts perfect position for me. And then give her a little start off. 
just going to move my helmet. Can I put my helmet on your R6, please? Of course you can. Just there. Is that just okay? Yeah, but it is. What it is, we'll put and it there. Two, helmets. <laughs> two or three? <laughs> So, really good tick from my uh, riding instructor when I did my CBT and um, uh, direct access. Um, never bother using that, except for an emergency. You've got to take the key out anyway. So, turn it off with the key. Makes perfect sense. So, starting a rock. on the next one. Bye. Oh, don't forget to ring the little bell, like, subscribe, leave us a message and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers guys and girls. Bye.